and it's another car from the GTA Online weekly update offers that we've got for you today and that's the Ubermacht Reinhardt which is a bit of a strange car because I've got to admit I'm not sure who thought do you know what let's put a BMW estate in there yeah yeah that's what people want but by the same token I need to be careful I need to be very careful with this review because you might not know this but Mrs. Perengrin drives a 3 Series BMW estate. Not entirely dissimilar to this one. So I can't be too harsh about this or I'll be sleeping in the garden for the rest of the month. And I don't like the idea of that. That, that sounds awful. So, the Reinhardt. What is it? It's based mostly on the 3 Series BMW estate. And when I say I'm not sure why they're adding these sorts of cars in, I have a couple of theories. My main one and the one that I'm going with is that a lot of the cars that we're getting recently, so from the last year or so's updates, I honestly think that a lot of the cars that we're getting are going to be some of the NPC cars from GTA 6. If you look at the models, you look at how realistic they are, you look at the differences in handling characteristics, the different types of customization. I think when GTA 6 drops you're going to see things like this driving around all over the place. I think this is going to be the new sort of thing that you can steal from the street. And that's why it's been added for us. Either that or someone just thought, oh, I don't know. Should we do the BMW this month? Yeah, let's do the BMW. Maybe. Maybe that's what they thought. But I'm going with the GTA 6 NPC car theory. So it's been in the game for a little while now. And it's on offer. It's normally at 1.6 million, which does sound like a lot for a family estate car, or as BMW call it, a touring car, or as my uh, followers in the US will call it, a station wagon. Is that right? Now, that doesn't mean it's a bad car. In fact, it's surprisingly good. The acceleration in this thing is pretty good. It's pretty decent to get off the mark. The handling's also okay, it's very predictable. At times, I would say the handling... Ugh, it, it's almost a little bit boring. In the game, this car's all-wheel drive, and they, they do do... <laughs> yeah. ...all-wheel drive versions in real life, but most of them are rear-wheel drive. But what the all-wheel drive gives you in this case, it kind of makes it a bit dull in parts. It has quite a lot of understeer, not to the point that it makes it awful to drive, but it does mean you end up snapping between understeer and oversteer, which isn't always fun. Top speed wise, it does reasonably well. As you can see, I'll pop the top speed up in the corner, you can see what it did. It does, should I say, suffer from um, an interesting glitch in that this is one car that I've managed to win the top speed free mode challenge in because for reasons I don't quite understand if you're in one of these when the top speed challenge comes up you can register speeds in excess of 350 miles an hour and I can absolutely vouch for the fact that the real life version of this car does not do 350 miles an hour so customization wise do you know what it, it's actually not bad you've got a little bit more than most this is quite good in that it will allow you to make a quite beefed out but fairly standard version. You know, you, you can do something that looks like a high-end version of this would look like in real life. You can go wild if you want to, that's fine. You, you can choose all the racing options if you want to, that's fine. But it does let you just go for something that's reasonably natural, reasonably standard and looks like, you know what, maybe that's the way it was designed in the first place. And coming back to the design, I have to say, you know, having one of these things parked on the drive, this is one that very much comes from the Rockstar photocopying department, in that there are so few differences between this and the real thing, the main one being the grill, they've gone for a solid one-piece grill on this instead of the kidney grill that BMWs have. Aside from that, it's really difficult to tell it apart from the real 3 Series estate. Sorry station wagon. So is this worth your money in the offer? Well at 1.6 million mm, maybe. It's reasonably quick. It does a reasonable lap time actually. I took it around a second time because I wasn't entirely happy with the first lap that I did. 
and whilst the second lap was a little bit cleaner, it only shaved about 4 seconds off the lap time. But it's still, considering the class, and this sits in the sedan's class, it still did a very, very respectable time. So is it worth it at 1.6? Mm, maybe, maybe. But in the offer this week at 1.1 million, this is probably actually one of the better buys of the week. Yes, it's not the most dramatic of cars, but it performs really well. It handles reasonably well. It's quite nice to drive. As I say, at times, the predictability of the handling can make it a touch dull, but it's an estate. Sorry, station wagon. Um, what do you expect? How exciting do you want your station wagons to be? So on balance, is this worth buying? Well, I'm kind of glad I've got it. The one that I'm driving here is actually from my Top Gear garage. And if you want to see the video that I did for that, there's a link up here. But this was done up like the 5 Series BMW that Jeremy took through one of the Africa trips that they did. And yes, it's a little bit newer than the one that he had. But you know what? It's close enough for me. It meant I got to fill my Top Gear garage. But aside from that, is it worth buying? Do you know what? Even though it's okay, I'm struggling to think of a reason to tell you that this is the car that you should go out and get. Unless you really plan on grinding the top speed challenges out until you pay for it, and I'm not going to sit and do the maths on how long that would take you, then I would think that this one, this might actually be one to miss, even though it's a good car and it's a good price. I can't give you a single reason why this is the one car that you should buy this week so as we come around here let's have a look at the final time this managed to do and here's where it sits on the lap board and I can also say I have been in touch with the winner of my 1000 subscriber giveaway who has chosen the I'm Beyond Kale t-shirt which to be fair is one I think I should probably be wearing myself at the moment so as ever thanks so much to all my new subscribers please if you enjoy what you're seeing do drop a sub dive into the comments answer as many comments as I can take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in the next one <laughs>